just a little background. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about it. Um, uh, our company here, IT Strategist, was founded in 1999. We really believe in giving great technology equals better business. We have a combination of strategy services that we provide doing vendor evaluations. And while we are a Microsoft Gold partner, we work with Oracle, EMC, IBM, and all the other partners to be pretty objective about the new technologies that are available out there. Uh, we've done a lot of work in business intelligence, content management systems, uh, SEM and SEO. And we've worked like with clients like AEG, City Search, Ticketmaster, Yahoo. So again, uh, what we're trying to provide here is we're going to go through, I just picked out 10 of the ones we talked to clients and we studied through different trends that are happening. We really want to briefly go through them, talk about what they are, why they matter, and how do you get started with them, and then the when and where is up to you. So I don't know about everybody else, but you know there's just so many terms and so many new technologies that are occurring all around us that it just gets really confusing. So what we're trying to do is provide some clarity on to what really matters and something that's hopefully useful to you during this presentation. So here's the first five that we're just going to cover today real quickly. Uh, if you do have any questions, as Deborah mentioned, just type them in. Uh, so we're going to talk about cloud computing, online applications, document management and collaboration, what I call CRM 2.0, and unified communications to start off with. So cloud computing, what really is it? It's about what I call really infrastructure as a service. I mean, I know for all of you, you know, a lot of us have worked endless hours configuring many different servers, or we have teams of people configuring those servers for us. And it takes a lot of time and energy, especially if you have a large data center and cost to keep that, that going for you. So, you know, I've been done in administration work as well as development work. As a, as a business person, you know, I think what we're seeing is there's definitely a trend where it's evolving and it's becoming more mainstream. And we've been talking about this grid computing, which I call kind of predecessor to this, you know, as early as probably in the late 80s and then definitely in the 90s. But now it's really becoming a reality because these platforms are becoming something that you can actually use now. So, you know, really just it takes it what I call kind of lets you put an infrastructure that you can plug into. As long as you have a great network connection to it, then this gives you a lot more capacity. One of the best, like, return on investments we've seen with one client who is a, a major kind of online retailer, they, they do, like, you know, 70% plus of their business from like October through December. And the, doing this kind of capability with using these uh, infrastructure services allows them to ramp up instead of having to have like all the amount of servers that they need to handle the traffic and orders that they're processing during those three months, they can ramp down those costs associated with that and, and only have to pay for it when they need to. You know, it gives you flexibility, and then as a someone as a developer, when we're always asked, you know, how how quickly can we get this out there? And there's always that lead time with, you know, if it's a big, large-scale application, something that a client wasn't ready for, our time to market is reduced because we don't have that, you know, ordering time frame. With a lot of these services, from GoGrid to um, the EC2, you can have them up and running in a day, the basic elements of it. There's, you know, additional development configurations you can add to it, but you can get them up pretty quickly. And at the end of the day, right, what we're looking at here, especially in this environment, is what can we do to reduce our cost savings? So this takes a lot of your costs associated with system administrators. If you can, if you can outlay it over to these online services, there is a return on investment depending on your business situation. If you do have any further uh, information about this, we're actually starting to build out at least every week or so more details. We, we have a, a simple grid put in place uh, right now on our, our site that goes through the different services we outline, but we're also expanding that about, there's a lot of different new cloud computing vendors that are coming up, not just the three we mentioned there, and we're evaluating those for clients and, and looking at what are the best ones. So you can see our website at cloudcomputing.aspx there. So some people like to, the next trend is online applications. Some people like to kind of lump online applications with 
cloud computing, but I really do look at it as a separate. And I'm just going to briefly show you uh, some of the, the example things I already set up. So here's some of the different, uh, I don't know if you've heard of these, Zoho. This is one of the more popular ones out there. And as you can see, as you can look at this on the screen, that there's a lot of uh, applications here. There's a ton of, ton of them. And these online applications, again, are kind of similar to the cloud computing in the way that they, you don't have to have this infrastructure at your, you know, especially for small to medium-sized businesses in place. You can just go online and get these services. So there's even things as, uh, you know, project management software, CRM software for them. They're one of the more aggressive ones, you know, and, they, and they've got a lot of accolades in the, the press as well. Now, I'm not sure if everyone's seen this. I, I mean, it's pretty popular out there as well. I mean, people are concerned about certain areas of it, but um, Google is making a play in this area as well, of course, and they have both messaging applications, which everyone's familiar with their Gmail and Google Calendar, as well as the collaboration apps, which are getting some traction in certain areas, depending on who you talk to. And then, of course, the big kahuna of the you know, office space is Microsoft. And they, they see this as a trend as well. You know, this is another offering that we have as being a partner with them is you can, if you look to move towards just having all your, uh, you know, basically office online is what it is. I mean, there's actually a lot of other features as you can see here. You know, there's also the web conferencing um, and other features in IM that they offer that gives you more centralized that plays into the unified communications approach. But this is, uh, you know, they see this trend as well, and that's why they're moving towards it. So, you know, I think Free Office is another one of these players out there as well. Uh, and I just thought this was pretty interesting to show. It's just a highlight. But, you know, if you think about all this stuff, we're just trying to easily be able to get to our information in one place. And, you know, this is just about document sharing, which is one of the next trends talking about. I mean, there's still a lot of problems with installations of, you know, whether it's SharePoint or other places where it's just still painful to get to all your information in one place. And I think Free is trying to, to, to work towards being able to provide towards that trend. People just want to get their information. In a way, cloud computing and online applications is just about, can I get to my information easily? And I think we're going to see a lot more around those trends area. And it's going to be a lot more ubiquitous to just gets your information easily. You know, in the old days, in the 90s, if you were around, it was just so hard to, you know, collaborate or, or, or do too much in this area. Okay, I'm going to go back to the presentation here. Yeah, I, I'm just going to bang through this. The time to market is reduced again with these versus having to go out, install Office on every single desktop you have. Again, you can also have um, cost savings in the, the maintenance costs. And one last thing is, is uh, as a small to medium-sized business especially, it's just hard to keep up with all the security patches, all those things that keep happening over and over in that, you know, their administration headache. And typically, through these large scale, these software as a service vendors can provide you know, better security and, and uptime typically than you can with a small staff. So, you know, how do you apply this? I mean, one of the big hits is if, if you're a Lotus Notes user and you're thinking about coming online, this has been a big hit for Microsoft is this is an easy entree. It's pretty simple to move towards the, you know, Exchange Online and the Office applications. So that's a, that's a big trend we're seeing with someone who's kind of got a, well, I'd say non-mainstream, but uh, if they're looking at changing to another environment, this, the online application is great. It's just easy experience. You can do it pretty quickly. And then, you know, we provide this service as well.